hope, hope you're all well. So I've got a really old, pretty dry twist out here. Um, but I thought instead of just skipping straight to wash day, I'd have a bit of fun with it. So I've been hanging on to these cans or colour cans for ages. And I thought, why not try it? Why not spray my hair and turn it grey? If you've seen one of my temporary hair colour videos already, I got this really beautiful royal blue colour that showed up really well on my hair. I was really surprised. It lasted and it washed out super easy. So I thought I'd pick up some more. So it's the L'Oreal Colorista Spray. I got two cans because in my last video it took two cans of spray to really show up and really cover my hair. But I'm thinking slash hoping because it's a lighter, icier, white colour that it will just show up a lot easier on my dark hair because I don't think I will ever dye my natural hair the way that I used to dye my hair every colour under the sun when I was relaxed so let's get into it I know I'm wearing white but I just thought white with the grey hair would look quite nice so just ignore that I've got an old towel just going to drape that around my shoulders try not to knock everything else out in the process Lip that here. So I've got some gloves as well just to protect my skin. On dry hair, spray on lengths or tips at a distance of around 15 centimeter. Leave to dry for one minute. Start as usual. Don't overspray. A small amount is enough. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting nervous. Oh, I've lost the lid. Okay, we've got this really cute little nozzle. Can you see that? So that you can get a really direct spray. All right, here we go. Okay, oh, this one's definitely gonna show up a lot better already, I can tell. Let's start with the back, shall we? look like I've just had been snowed on or something like that. I wanted to actually look like grey hair. It's showing up a lot better, a lot quicker. But it's almost like a purpley grey. I wouldn't say that it's like straight up grey. It's like a lavender grey colour. I'm just going to use the rest of this can on this side and then my other can of spray on this side and see how we get on. I've had to switch on my light because the heavens have opened, it's peeing it down with the rain and it's super dark outside. Um, but do you know what? The more and more that I'm leaving it to dry and everything, the more that I'm liking it. It's this kind of wintry ice grey, slightly erring more towards a silvery colour. Even like I got a little bit on my phone and it's kind of glittery, which is quite fun. Um, I really like the colour. You can definitely see it more now that I've turned to the side because I stuck with the instructions and I kind of sprayed the ends as opposed to spraying like right into the roots apart from up here I sprayed quite close I think if I sprayed a little bit more around here then it would be super super grey I definitely want to try more colours the things that I love about these sprays is as you can see my pattern is not disturbed at all I've still got my twist out or you know whatever style that I set but I'm having all of the fun of trying out different colours and seeing what different colours would look like on me without the pressure without the pain, without the money really, because these are really affordable drugstore products. So that's what grey looks like on my natural hair. Let me know if you'd like me to try any more colours, see what it looks like on dark hair, seeing how these temporary colours show up as opposed to bleaching and dyeing my hair with a traditional dye. Have you tried these colours before? I'd love to know. Leave me a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!